back with another of these things. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, tap that notification button so you too can be informed when I drop another one of these things. And you know, when you subscribe, become part of the Four Kicks Brigade. So first things first, we are headed to cop those, oh my goodness, sorry about that. To cop those uh, Jordan 1 Phantom things. This is a sneaker that a lot of people on the fence. Some people say I'm passing on them. Some people say I like them. Um, I think they're going to kind of sort of hang around a little bit because of the delay. They pushed them back by a couple of weeks. And, um, you know, the, I guess to let the hype build a little bit or whatever strategic marketing plans Jordan Brand and Nike had in store for them. Um, but... Before I even started this video, I went over to Fort Sam Houston and got word that they were gone from Fort Sam Houston, which means I had to take the trip all the way down to the southwest side of San Antonio to Lackland Air Force Bases, which is where I normally come up on my sneakers for the low. You know, I get Jordan 1s for 128 tax free. Um, so you, you can't beat that. It's worth the drive. And uh, we're gonna go inside and see if they got these things. You got those Desert Storm 312s. Uh. Patricia from Castillo, call cool grays. Same old, same old, same old. Still got those hanging around, big sizes though. Yeah, if you wear 11, 11 and a half, and you want these uh, quote unquote Laker mids, holler at me. All right, so they got them. These are 128, and um, this is size 10. Right. But they did have my size right here, so we about to go cash out. They didn't have anything else in it, so um, I'm gonna check one more place for another shoe that I'm curious about. See if the price dropped on it. I might cop those too. It's still my birthday month. Told y'all. We're still copping kicks every day of the week. Pretty much to the end of the month. So I got till tomorrow to find something else. That's how I'm celebrating my birthday this year. Buy whatever got Derek on shoe that I want. Tomorrow. Because yet, once again, I got busy. And I did not drop the video on release day, but I did cop the sneaker on release day. So what's the sneaker we're talking about today? It is the Jordan 1 Phantom Gym Red. A very love-hate sneaker, according to some people. Some people said easy pass. Some people said hard pass. Some people said, mm, I think they're going to sit. I'm going to try to cop them. For, you know the sale or I'm gonna wait till they hit outlets or whatever it is all right wait till the granny get them for them but this is a sneaker that I personally found dope and this is yet again um, one of those times where if the photos don't look right or they're of high quality it really skews how you feel about the shoe sometimes and this is a good example of it so we got the sneaker right here in the box. And I got mine from the Lackland Air Force Base Base Exchange. Now let me put the sneaker down for a second because we're gonna uh, take time and pause for the cause for my dude, the Retro Wiz Kid, who got jerked around yesterday by the Lackland Base Exchange PX. There's a power outage on his base where he was at. And um, they told him to come back at a certain time. He came back. They still didn't have the shoes out and all that good stuff. I basically came in behind them probably maybe, I don't know, 20 or so minutes, you know, give or take. And the lady just went back and got the shoe for me. I walked in, shoe was sitting there on display, copped them, out the door and everything, off about my merry way. But I was not done. I had to check on another shoe because once again, photos, poor video quality. Even my video is poor, some quality is poor sometimes. It kind of will say, eh, I'm good, eh, I'm good. But some sneakers you really just have to put in hand, and those are the Tinker 3s, the 
the Air Max Tinker 3s that came out. I was one of the ones that said, I don't know about those, man. Mm, I'm good. But once I saw them and actually touched them, I said, yeah. And I apologize for not having the footage because I was engaged in a really deep conversation with somebody at the store. And I didn't want to break out the camera. I was doing that. I also had a chance to get those from um, Foot Locker. And Foot Locker walls them. And no, Foot Locker walls them did not have my size. But Foot Action did. No, Foot Locker House of Hoops at North Star Mall had my size. Shout out to my man that went to the back, brought him out to me. Talk to me for quite a bit to try to convince me and everything. But what stopped me from getting the sneaker? What stopped me from copping the sneaker? They were quick strike. I want my discounts. I'm that kind of sneaker buyer. I'm that kind of consumer. I want my discounts. $225? Mm, even though I had means to split the difference and everything, well, I wasn't going to personally hurt, but, you know, I wasn't going to hurt at all, but I just didn't want to spend $225 plus tax on that sneaker. But let's get back to the sneaker that I copped. Right here, standard Jordan brand box. Oh, excuse me, Nike Air Jordan brand box. And I'm gonna pull these things out of here, man. Woo! No need to bring out both pair of shoes because uh, the one with the laces would do it just fine. They came with a pair of um, kind of off-white type laces came in there already set up for you and all that good stuff but they also came with a pair of red laces and black laces pick your poison do what you want to do with them um i think i may do something different i may go red and black i don't know i don't know i tend not to lace swap a lot of times but some sneakers i do think they look better with other laces i have not um i just have a hard stance about that like nah i'm good i like the original look but let's get into the detailing of the sneaker first we're gonna talk about quality later let's get into the detailing of the sneakers we walk forward a little bit we stay in focus we might be a little too light here I think we are let's try something ah maybe that helps a little bit there we go all right there we go all right so hmm, I'm a little too dark let me step back for a second but if you look on the sneaker right here this is um, that that crinkly kind of sort of um, tumble. I'm not going to call it that anymore because this, this looks intentional. So if you have the uh, neutral grays, the crimsons that came out, this is it. If you had the flints, it was the same thing. Also, they were on another sneaker that I have as well. That was kind of like, what's going on here? Are we overdoing it? But it doesn't look bad. And the reason why I was going after this sneaker because I said in the car, you heard me say it, I pass on the original sales. Uh, they kept showing up in front of me. I was kind of like, oh, it's just a creamy looking sneaker. I'm good. I'm good. But then I started looking at the sneaker and going, man, the quality is really, really good on them. And by the time I made up my mind to buy that sneaker, they were gone. They were gone. However, I did find a pair for somebody else at the PX. Crazy story. Um, I don't think that shoe was supposed to be. I had no recollection of the sales actually hitting the um, AFI stores. But anyway, I tone with this pair right here. And they said Phantom. I'm not sure why they call them the Phantom. Is it the fact that they have like this black outline in the stitching right here to, to give it that kind of in the cut look? I don't know. They're once again Jordan brand, Nike brand with the crazy colorways. Y'all heard me talk about the cargo khaki when it's just olive drab or olive. They want to be different with it. But you got your sail out of sole. You got your... um. Actually, this, this leather around the toe box is really good. And right here around the lacings, this leather right here is it's nice. This is not bad at all. Not, not super, super soft and tumble, but it's actually really good. And it's also appearing on the swoosh right here. So, um, yeah, up here as well by the, uh, the ankle. But here you got like some nylon and all that good stuff. Um, if you know... You know, the, the sock liner on your sneakers, if they're white, you really don't want that. Or if it's kind of got like that fleece feel, it's going to feel good. But after a while, it's going to get really, uh, you know, nappy and stuff. And, you know, you have to be shaving it off real closely with the razor. So they put nylon inside of here. But this is a dope shoe with the detailing on here, with the, the crinklage and all that good stuff. And along with the, the black lacing, giving it a nice little pop around the outline. Once again... Uh, Nike Jordan brand that whole Virgil thing is showing up 
with the exposed stitching, we need to um, let that go. I guess since you're no longer in contract, we're going to milk that for as long as possible. That's what you're telling us. It's okay. But a dope sneaker retailing at 160 I got these from the Lackland Air Force Base Base Exchange for a mere 128 I'm happy with that price. And um, hey, this is a dope sneaker. Can't wait to rock them. Once again, the solution for kicks. Are you going to do an on foot? I don't know. I seldom do those. <laughs> I seldom do those. I probably need to get back and doing into doing. Well, I've done it a couple of times, but I probably need to do that. What do you guys think? Hmm? I don't know. But I'm thinking, well, actually, I'm going to start doing that. But I'm in the midst of getting ready to move, so it's kind of impractical right now. But where I'm moving at now, it, I really won't have an excuse not to do an on foot because of the setup, the layout, and everything. Like right now, I just don't want to take my camera and lace up the shoe and walk around all that stuff i'm going to be able to walk out and do it almost turn the camera around and do it right there in front of you so you get to see it and all that good stuff but what do you think should i go off site at another location I actually gave you all a glimpse of what i might be doing in my last video i did like a mini photo shoot at a, a location i will not disclose i might tell retro whiz kid and uh tony um 210 tony from 210 got kicks and probably Texas, man. You know, get everybody together and head down to that spot I found because it looks dope, man. Especially when the left, when the lighting's right and the scenery, it, it looks really, really dope to um, take photos down there. Also, might be having another camera on the way. We're going to see. But this one's really good. But right now, the well, when I'm finished moving, it's going to look better. But right now, it's, um, it, it's working, but it's not as working as well as I would like to. I have to do a whole lot. To get the composition right but let me know if you got these comment like subscribe tell me your, your take on these are you going to wait for these to drop they were selling they were selling i saw people camping out in some videos i'm not sure this was first come first serve not sure if this was a camp out worthy sneaker but you do what you got to do to secure your pairs it's okay if that works for you um shout out to skip goes hard he was camping out somewhere. I don't know where he was, but Skip, all the base exchange stores had him. Maybe you missed out and you weren't able to secure your pair, so you went over to the mall. I'm not sure. I don't think you mentioned that in your video, but down here in um, San Antonio, Fort Sam Houston sold out, Randolph sold out, but Lackland had them. And it's a, a traversity that my dude, Retro Wiz Kid, wasn't able to secure his pair because I walked in. The lady was like, I'll be back, size nine and a half. Yes. You know, they had a 10 on display that was looking real fresh. I would grab those as well if they didn't have my nine and a half, because I can do that with Jordan ones. But I have but said enough. I have talked to you enough. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, tap that notification button, hit those likes, and chop it up with me in the comment section and let me know how you feel about the release of the Air Jordan One Phantom Gym Red or Phantoms, whatever the streets are calling them. Um, the, the crinkly red and white sale geriatric things, the centrum um, gold, the centrum red ones, whatever you want to call it because of this texture thing they did. Um, the jury's still out on this. But remember, it's not about how much you paid for the sneakers. Why'd you pay that much? And I'm out of here. Boom. The solution.